Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. I'm Brian and today I want to show you folks again what I think personally is one of the best solar panels you can get for your money. I've probably reviewed 15 to 20 different foldable compact solar panels and I keep going back to this Elecanta 120 watt solar panel. I reviewed this about a year ago and I wanted to come back because I got a second one and I want to make sure it still performs as well as my original one. This is the solar panel that I use to test out and compare all of my other solar panels. It's just that good. It really is. And again, I just wanted to do another review on this panel and show you folks just how good it actually performs. Now, it is February here in Texas, so this is not optimum time to test solar panels with where the sun is on the horizon. This panel is so good, it still gets a decent amount of output out of it, even when it's still late February, early March. But if you folks don't want to watch any of this other video, all I can say is that this little panel here is my number one recommended solar panel for people that I talk to outside of YouTube or when people leave me comments. I always refer to them to this Elecanta. But I'm going to tell you why I think it's so good and hopefully prove it to you in this video. What you get is a 120 watt monocrystalline solar panel, 20 inches long, 14 inches tall by about two inches thick. It is IPX5 waterproof and it weighs 10 pounds. So it's not crazy lightweight, but it's got a nice rubber handle on top. You can just move it around very easily. You can pretty much store it wherever you want. And when you flip it over, you've got a little storage container right here. So let me show you what's in this because it literally can hook up to almost any power station that you have with the cords that Elecanta provides you. So in this zipper compartment, you're gonna get like I said, pretty much everything that you're gonna need. The thickest user manual I've ever seen for a solar panel, all kinds of information in this thing. And then a 10 foot 5521 DC cable. So this means you can put the solar panel out in the sun, obviously, and run your power station a little bit further away from it out of the sun so it doesn't sit there and cook. You're also gonna get 10 different barrel adapters that you can use. They're all got a 5521 female end that you can plug in to the attached DC cord. So you can hook up to pretty much any power station that you have that takes some type of barrel connection. And then you get a 5521 female to MC4 connector, a 5521 to your Jackery style input, to an XT60, and then to an Anderson. So with all of these, you really are gonna have a hard time not finding a power station that won't work with all of these cables provided. Now you also can use this solar panel not just to power up a power station, but it's got a 45 watt USB-C output and a quick charge USB-A port. So you can plug in just your phone charger. You can charge up some drone batteries directly from this power station using these output ports on this smart chip. And I'm probably gonna run out of room, but I will open it up here and then we'll take you outside. But to open it, you just got a couple of little buckles you press and then you unfold it to reveal these really nice monocrystalline panels. Now this does have that rough ETFE coating on it to protect the actual solar panels. And also I know you guys can't feel this through the video, but this is a very solid feeling solar panel. It just feels really well built. Okay, and you're also gonna get kickstands that are adjustable to hopefully get the best optimum angle of the sun hitting these panels. But when you open it up, so opened up, you're looking at approximately 56 inches long. Okay, so now I just simply want to show you folks how this works outside on a pretty decent day. There's a little bit of haze. We got a huge dust storm yesterday, so I'm sure there's still some particulate in the air. However, this solar panel still performs pretty well when the conditions aren't perfect, and you're hardly ever gonna get perfect conditions. But I wanna show you folks what I can pull. I'm gonna hook this up to my Bouge RV Flash 300, only because it's got the easiest screen to read on camera. But let me take you folks outside and show you how this panel reacts to our current conditions. Okay, so we got the solar panel set up in the most optimum position I can put out here in my backyard. Directly facing the sun, here's our conditions. So overall, a pretty clear day. Let's check out what it's outputting. So we're kind of bouncing around, but right now I'm at 90 watts, 88 watts, back to 90. So 90 watts off a 120 watt panel in late February, to me, is exceptional. 87 watts, 85 watts, with partial hazy conditions. 
So basically folks, that's why this has been my favorite or go-to solar panel. 90 watts off 120 watt rated solar panel, late February, to me is a very good output for the solar panels. And this thing is around 160 bucks, I think. There's a coupon code right now on Amazon, but if you compare this to the Blue Eddies or Rock Pals or Jaggery solar panels, you're gonna be paying double for the pretty much the same amount of wattage. And here's just a couple of examples of solar panels in the same wattage category that I found with much higher prices. So to me, this is a no-brainer go-to solar panel. If you want a high quality, fairly inexpensive 120 watt solar panel to throw in your car or RV or wherever you typically need a solar panel, I don't know. But to me, this is the best bang for your buck solar panel that you can get. So folks, that's it for this Elekinta 120 watt solar panel. Hope you found it informative and maybe make your decision a little bit easier to make. I don't know, but until next time, folks, thanks for watching. See you soon.